good morning. I'm just enjoying a wonderful cup of fresh Kenyan coffee here after an amazing breakfast with fruits that have come from our garden, eggs that have come from our chickens, and yogurt made from milk that's come from our cows. And all of this produce has come from right here on our property. So come along with me today and see what it's like to experience a morning in the life of a small holding. Okay, task number one of the day done. The sun is nicely up now and a lot more ahead of us. So let's get on with it. Stephen. Yes. Iko maziwa mingi leo. Maziwa leo iko. Okay. Leo amekubali. So today's actually a good day. Sometimes Bahati can be a little bit difficult and she doesn't like to give us milk. But today, it looks like she's been generous. So you can see uh, Bahati and her calf, Maisha, behind me. And so Maisha is trying very hard to suckle her mother. But because she's got that little ring on her nose, it means that every time she goes to suckle the udder, the ring pricks the mother and the mother will kick her away so she's not able to suckle and it just means that the milk is preserved so, yes I agree uh, the milk is preserved so that we're able to get milk on a daily basis as well so, what are we doing here we're trying to clean her eye she's got um, a lot of um, discharge in her eye could be from some grass seed or piece of grass that's got into her eye just clean it and put some ointment into it so we have dealt with the milking of the cow the treating of the cows and now we're going to move on to the feeding of the cows because of course here we have quite a large piece of land and that grass doesn't have a lawnmower or not a mechanical one but a biological one and those of course are the cows so we uh, follow what's known as a holistic grazing management pattern where the idea is to mimic the natural patterns of herds grazing out in the wilderness. So you can see we have this wire here. This is electrical wire and we'll erect a fence that will go all the way around the edge of this long grass. We have the long grass and the short grass. And so by putting the fence up, it will keep the cattle in that side, force them to eat all of that longer grass, trample all the ground down, lay the manure, and then move them on on a rotational cycle. So we finished up with the cows and moving straight on to the next task, which is probably my favorite, the food. So we're heading down to the greenhouse and shade house to harvest some food for breakfast and then what we'll be having later on for lunch. So this here is my favorite flower and it's the flower of one of my favorite fruits. It's a passion fruit flower.
So this shade house and greenhouse are pretty special because everything that's grown in here is completely organic. And I know that's a real hit word these days that everyone wants to buy organic and use organic, but it does come with a higher price tag and that price tag is justified by the amount of effort that goes into it. And my mum will be the first person to tell you that what you put in is what you get out. So when you do do organic and you do take the time and effort to make sure that everything is growing in the right soil, it's being cared for properly, it's getting the right nutrients, you get amazing fruits and vegetables. But if you don't put in that effort, what happens is insects will overtake your whole vegetable garden and you'll end up with nothing at all to eat. So it's amazing to have all these delicious fruits and vegetables that are organically grown without any chemicals, but it does come with a lot of work. So earlier on when we came to check the chickens, they hadn't laid any eggs yet. So I'm going to check back in now and see if we've got any eggs waiting for me. Success. Not one, but two eggs. Breakfast sorted. Okay, so we've got all of our vegetables and fruits from the garden head back up to the kitchen and get our food ready for later on. So from today's haul we've got all of these fruits, we've got blackberries, strawberries, passion fruits, baby guavas, mulberries and these will all be going into a fruit salad that we'll have for breakfast and then over here on the vegetable side we've got green beans, tomatoes, basil, fennel, spinach, kale, and courgettes. And these will all go into making a stir fry for our lunch. So what you've seen in today's video is just a small taste of what it's like living on a small holding, covering the first few hours of the morning. So clearly it requires a lot of hard work and effort to live a lifestyle like this, but it is also very rewarding. By living like this, we can ensure that we have a high degree of food sovereignty, meaning that we don't entirely depend on the commercial food system. Furthermore, we can also guarantee ourselves that the food we're eating is grown organically. So not only does this mean that the food tastes delicious, but also that we can be sure that it's not grown with any unwanted pesticides or chemicals. The more time that I get to spend here living like this, the more I appreciate how lucky I am to be able to enjoy a lifestyle like this. And through that, I'm realizing the importance of living in this way, where you're producing your own food that you are then eating and enjoying at home. I do also, however, realize that living a life like this is not always possible for many other people, whether it be due to limitations on time, knowledge, or other resources, such as having a beautiful property like this. So I do not expect everyone else to follow in this exact path. I do, however, hope that through watching this video, people begin to think a little bit more about where their food comes from. If possible, starting to grow some of their own food, even if it's just a few small things here and there. Because at the end of the day, the food that we eat is one of the most fundamental building blocks towards living a healthy lifestyle. And so by being more conscious and aware of what you're eating, you're setting yourself up for a much, much healthier life. And so, in the words of the great Greek philosopher Hippocrates, I'd like to leave you with this saying. Let food be thy medicine, and let medicine be thy food. And I think that is a perfect summary of how we should be living, and something that most of the modern world today is not paying any attention to. So, with that, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, let me know what you think about the video in the comments below. But until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next video.